how we use ConvertKit to grow our business on autopilot. In this video, I'll give you a behind the scenes look of how we use our favorite email marketing software to automate our sales process so we can sell day in and day out while we're sleeping or while I'm traveling Europe for two months. ConvertKit's also the sponsor for today's video. If you'd like to try their creator plan for free for 30 days, check out the link in the description below. We started using ConvertKit back in 2019. I'd previously used a couple of other email marketing software and ConvertKit was hands down the easiest to use, the most intuitive, and also really, really powerful as you're gonna see later on in this video. We typically explain the sales process in three steps. So the first step is attracting people that yesterday had no idea who you were. The second step, which is forgotten a lot of times, is having them get to know you, building trust, you getting to know them, what's important to them. And once you've built that trust, then asking for the sale, the third step. I think what happens a lot of times, people spend a lot of time on the first step of creating content and getting it in front of people day in and day out, and then on the last step of selling. But there's this intermediate step of building trust, getting to know your audience, getting to know a potential customer, what's important to them, and them getting to know you and what you have to offer before asking for the sale. Email is the perfect tool for that because you essentially reach someone, you capture their email, and then you can have a conversation with them all on autopilot over a period of days, weeks, or even months. And then from there, you can ask for a sale. There are some times where someone may sign up for our email list, not purchase anything for, from us for months or even years, and we send out an email for a new course or something like that, and all of a sudden they become a customer. It would be much harder to maintain that contact over time through any other channel. Now let's go through an example of how we use email to sell on autopilot. So the first step is to come up with a topic where we could create a bunch of free content around. So for us, maybe we're gonna talk about YouTube. We would come up with a dozen video ideas for how to help people grow their YouTube channel. Once we have the ideas for the free content that we would publish on YouTube, obviously this could be Pinterest, this could be something for paid ads, but right now we're thinking about how are we going to attract someone. Then once we have that, those content ideas ready, the next thing is to think about some type of lead magnet or freebie that we could create that someone watching those say dozen videos would be interested in. So this could be a training for YouTube beginners. It could be how to make your first hundred dollars with YouTube. So we have the video ideas that are very broad things of how to upload a video to YouTube, how to create your banner. Then we have some type of guide, checklist, masterclass, video training, or something like that we're gonna give away for free in exchange for their email. Once we have the idea for the freebie, then we're gonna to need to go and create it. So the checklist, the guide would be a document or some type of video training that we would host somewhere on our website. Once you have the lead magnet created, you can start working on the free content you're gonna publish, say on YouTube. Then you're gonna need a landing page where someone is going to sign up, give you their contact information and their email address. So you can deliver the lead magnet and also stay in touch with them and sell to them. Let me show you how easy it is to build a landing page with ConvertKit. Okay, so once you're in ConvertKit, you'd click on grow right here, click on landing pages and forms, click on create new landing page. Then you can see here, they have a bunch of different templates. So you can check out the different styles. Some may be for a live event or for other objectives, but see something that maybe makes sense for you. You can see event links, newsletter, podcast, product profile, et cetera. So you can essentially choose one of these or preview it if you'd like as well. And it's gonna look something like this. So this exact template we use for our personal finance content where we give away spreadsheets that help people analyze their finances. So you can essentially go in and change this background image, the text, the text here. Here you can go in and add other fields you'd wanna capture. So for example, first name, you can move it around so you ask for first name then email this for example you can go through and change the color like so everything in here you can go in and edit you can add a thank you page here and then once you have the landing page created that you want how we generally deliver the lead magnet you can do it through an automated sequence we're going to take a look at in a second but if you want to just deliver it immediately you click on incentive right here you can edit the email content so you can go and edit all of this and then whenever they click on confirming their subscription, they would get the freebie or lead magnet that you promised them. The other thing you wanna make sure to update is either choose a URL, you're gonna send someone to the URL for the video training, or if you want them to be able to download something, you can choose the file right here, click on save it. If this was set, click on publish, and then all of your free content, you have a link to your landing page day in and day out. People watch your free content, and a percent of them come here, sign up, and then we'll move on to 
the staying in touch, building trust through email. So we delivered the lead magnet through the incentive email that I just showed you. The next thing we want to think about is how do we segment our audience? So someone interested in YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook ads, building a website, whatever happens to be, we may talk to each one of those individuals differently. We may send them some emails and not other emails, depending on what the person is interested in or the phase that they are in their business. To do that, you wanna use tags and segments. So for example, to create a tag, you have a form or a landing page, or when someone makes a purchase somewhere, you can essentially set up through rules where someone performs this action, add this tag. And then after tags, you have segments, which are essentially groups of segments or tags. So if you have maybe five different things you give away related to helping people with Instagram, then from there, you could create a segment of people interested in Instagram. So now we want to think about how do we stay in touch and build trust with someone who just signed up on our email list. And we're going to do that through automated sequences. There's essentially two steps here. So the first step is to click on automate and visual automation, then new automation, and then start from scratch. Then what you're going to do is choose how to kick off the automation. So when a tag is added, joins a form, makes a purchase. So let's just choose that's YouTube guide. So someone gets a tag for YouTube guide. That's the event that starts this automation. And then what we want to do here is the action. So what we're going to do here is send an email sequence. You'll choose the sequence. So best email sequence ever Add action. And this is the automation all ready to go. If someone is added this tag or signs up for a form, then we're going to start to deliver these emails to deliver a sequence or to create the sequence click on send sequences. And as you're gonna see here, we have quite a few. Click on new sequence. There's a couple of templates. Let's just go with text only. So here's the subject. The next thing you wanna think about is how soon you wanna deliver this. So we're sending the incentive email with the lead magnet immediately. Maybe this email we would send a day later, but if you wanna send something else immediately, you could send something an hour later after the first one, or if you just put zero here, it's gonna be sent immediately but let's go to days one day and then we can go through and create the email here there's personalizations you can change the headings numbered list images all sorts of stuff you can add to the email if you're all set with these this email you can publish it right here and then so this one is going to be sent one day after the incentive email then here maybe you want to send something else two days after that so this is again we're just providing value right now. We're not selling anything. We can ask them questions. We can try to figure out how, what their biggest problems are, how advanced they are on a certain topic. All of this we can do on autopilot. Then after say a couple of days of providing more value on top of whatever you gave away for free, then you want to think about additional emails that are going to present some type of offer. So, Hey, you got this checklist for getting started on YouTube. Now we have this special offer, our course for YouTube beginners. And what we like to do is have some type of special offer for someone that signs up for one of your lead magnets. So we use another tool called Deadline Funnel, where you can essentially have a time period where if someone signs up today, say a week after of providing value, you give them an offer for two or three days where they have a discount on one of your products. So ConvertKit combined with Deadline Funnel allows you to send emails over the time of that offer. And if it's during that couple of days when the offer is valid, they get one price. And then after the offer expires, it goes back to the normal price. So I walk you through the process from someone finding us on YouTube, signing up for a lead magnet on our landing page, them getting to know us, and then receiving an offer for one of our courses. Again, if you'd like to try ConvertKit's creator plan for free for 30 days, check out the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about ConvertKit, we have a handful of tutorial videos. Our tutorial for beginner walks you through a lot of what we talked about today, but in much more detail. If you want to watch that, I'll link to it right here. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.